Good afternoon, everyone. So we can start with this session tutorial. You can hear my voice, right? Okay. And then just share my screen and we'll get to it. Confirmation that you are seeing my screen. Okay, thank you. You can start from some few introduction on how you can set up your GitHub profile, tips you must include, and how we, how you would set it up on your GitHub. So let's start from the introduction. So basically, like any other profile page, it will tell the story of your work in GitHub case, uh, shows which repo repositories are you interested in, in your, which language you are mostly using, what are your contrib contributions, and the conversation you have had on your issues. So these are the information that will be seen on your, mainly on your profile page, on your GitHub profile. So tips, okay, I'm gonna, this part. So tips to include on your GitHub, profile, you should have a readme file, you should have your best project is pinned on your profile, you should have a bio, uh, uh, GitHub will give you 160 60 characters only, so you have to uh, write your bio only on these characters as much as you can, try to make, try to make it capt eye capt uh, capturing, so you'll have uh, 160 characters to write on it, uh, you ha you can put your location, which is optional. Uh, you can it's recommended if you have a profile site that showcases your yourself. You should also put your profile a portfolio link. Uh, and for your project repo, uh, for every repo that you create uh, for doing your project, uh, if you have a demo a demo link showing that repo, you should put that repo also on each project repo. I will show you in detail this part and try to make sure to uh, make sure or your project repo description as, as uh, eye-catching as possible uh, so that people can just read that part of the description and be interested in seeing what you have done on that particular project. They can go to reading your code or stuff like this. So try to make your description as eye-catching as possible. So let's, before we move to the other slides, let's see this part of slide in example. So uh, we're going to start from adding readme. The things that you have to do to add a readme in your profile would be go to your home page, home page and new repository, create new repository here. So just create new. Here you have to write your username. So my username is RYAS, my GitHub user, your username. So you have to do that. So like this, since I already have a readme on my username, it wouldn't allow me, but for you, if you have created a readme, it will work. So put RYAS, and make it public, then just create repository. Then you will have a readme file like you have on your personal pro projects readme file. It's the same as that. Just make sure to create this repository uh, and click this one at readme file, then create repository. That's all you have to do. Then you have a readme fi uh, file for your portfolio. So let's now go back to the readme file here. So this is my readme, so I can edit it like I would edit any readme file. Here you can be creative as you want. Uh, readme file usually, as you know, use markup, markdown language. So you can read up on that and be creative as you want here. You can put your readme, you can style it with HTML. Uh, so 
once you have done that you can click uh, commit your changes and you will see your profile here like this whatever you write on the readme will display it as a your profile here this is when i said add a readme on your portfolio that showcases your uh, accomplishment uh, introduction anything you want so try to be as creative as you want on your readme so this person, as this is a sample readme for this person, he has created sim as simple as this. He has created uh, listed using the markdown language. He put the icons for the language he have used, uh, projects he have done. He has this amount of stars on this particular project. So he gathered it like this and put it on your readme. So someone who could. Uh, want to check his profile have a better good understanding of what this person accomplishment is so this is how you create your readme and for how you should be creative on it i'll leave that to you uh, when we when i say pin your best projects on your profile you have the option to add custom pins you, you can see it right pinned so these are projects that are pinned here so you can do that. So he's, this person has chosen these projects to pin. So when you pin your project, it will automatically. So let's go back to my account and see how you can do that also. This is, so if when you have this option when you're signing on your account, so every project that I have done is listed here. So that, I can put, pick those projects that I think would attract someone. You just click this, this check the, on the project and save pin, and it will automatically will be displayed on your front end, on your GitHub front end uh, portfolio page. So since these are the projects that I've chose, someone can see it, and just some project that I think are best by best project. So I put it like this. So you have to do that also. So from this 12 weeks, pick those projects that you have done well and pin them and they will be displayed here. And here, when I say also this part, uh, description icon, description on your project report, this is what I mean. This is, these are small descriptions that I give for each product. So when someone sees it, oh, this project is about this. So if they are interested, they will click it and see what it what it ends there. So try to make the good description of each project. Uh, and every pin project should have this description also. And add that. So how you will do that? So let's go to this report specifically and see how you add it. This is a description. So if you click the setting part, it will give you this dialogue where you can write a description for this particular project. So this is, if it's MPT or your best project, make sure to put some kind of description, eye-catching description on the particular project and it will be displayed on your front profile page when you pin it. Now the other, I don't have a demo for this project, but if I have one, a demo that I created, I can put the URL here and it will be displayed and uh, which is uh, advantages which will be pretty cool for your anyone who's seeing your project to so, to see your demo uh, so if you have a demo of the project put it here and it will be displayed so this to cover this right include demo link to your project repo and i can just description is this one uh these three will be displayed here and you have if you have a photo or anything under here you can put your location if you're under if it's optional but you can do that you can put your email so that people contact you uh, like this and he has uh, its own medium article blog he put that and if you have a website of your own portfolio site you can also list it here uh, as for bio this person doesn't include any bio but you can uh, include info so if you sign up to your page you have an option to include a bio. So again, let's go back to mine. So I can edit my profile here like this. If I edit it, I have a bio option. So in this bio, like I told you here, you have only 160 character words available. This is a limit. So in that bio, try to be, uh, try to include everything that you want to be seen for you 
on those files on your GitHub profile. So this is these are mainly the things that should be included on your GitHub profile. And what the other thing would be this GitHub activity. And for example, for me, from September October, I have no activity. This just show how much commit you have made each month. So try to work on projects and commits. Uh, so it can show off that you are actively participating in working projects and stuff like that. So try to not to have empty spaces on your activity session, activity to contribution. It just shows uh, your contribution. So try to be active on it. Better contribution means better perform, uh, better look for you. So do that. So basically, the achievement organization there. Out if you have this. Uh, achievement in organization you have worked on it will automatically display on your github profile you don't have to do anything here uh, so now let's just see how you can be creative like this add this is my personal uh, github information i just put it here in some stylish way you can do that so i, I will i will show you how you will do that also i'll show you the website to do that uh, so now uh, if you have a question here you can ask this is the main things that you have to include on your GitHub profile. So the key here is to let your personality show on your profile. Uh, you can see your, your GitHub profile doesn't have to be too formal, like LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, you have to be formal, you have to be professional like that in your GitHub. You don't have to be that formal or also you don't have to be too friendly also you just you can be in the middle you can be fun and you can be also professional on your github but on linkedin you have to be more professional so you can be creative stylish on your github profile uh, but personally for a starter start from simple and in along the way you can be more active on it on making it more stylish adding more icons or adding more widgets to make it more beautiful but uh, as, a, as a beginner you can start from simple and improve your profile along the way or you can have a pro profile now too that's just how uh, your choice so i think is there a question okay, let me just see this one and we we'll Okay, for GitHub profile, it just uh, it's not some. Uh, this is a uh, the thing that I did before when we cr I create my readme. I have to make it public, right? If you make it pro private, I just want to show you what you will lose on your GitHub profile, your achievement, your contribution, your followers, follower count, organization membership, stars, project, like everything will be off. So make sure you make your profile public if you want to be seen by others. Just uh, some point that I want to mention. Uh, in inspiration profile designs, I have put uh, a link to show to give you uh, inspiration profile designs of people. Let's just click here and So this link will guide you to this GitHub profile where there's a lot of people's name. You just, uh, um, this person that I was keep showing you, he's, he's found here, his name is Thomas Piper. And you can find other people also which have uh, a good profile, GitHub profile that can give you inspiration to build your own. So check them out. Uh, references, there is a step by step guide to build your profile. Uh, there is also documentation for mark markdown language. You can check that. And the other website that I want to show you is this website, which is this one. Uh, sign up with your GitHub profile. I mean, it will let you sign up with your GitHub. So once you are signed with your GitHub, it automatically will gather every information in your GitHub. And under profile, there is an option named widget. We just so click that one so under this option the widgets option you will find these widgets these beautiful widgets that are particularly connected with your github information so automatically it will drive me this information by gathering information from my github like this so for example if i want to include i already include this one if i want to include this one just copy the widget 
uh, code and go back to my readme here let's put my readme let's say i want to put it next to the one that already happened copy paste the the code that i just copy commit change Now I have this widget that shows the, fr the framework that I have used so far. At least, uh, so use this site. Also, the reference uh, is found on the LinkedIn. So you, you can have these stylish widgets to put on your readme to make it more attractive and have a gathered information about your GitHub. Uh, the other thing that I want to show you is to create your readme. Instead of going language by language, there is one option. There's an automatic generator to build your readme. So let's follow this, this uh, block. So this GitHub profile automatic generator. So basically there's a form, uh, just uh, name, write your name. Uh, so this I already filled it, but for you it would be empty. If I want to change it, I can do that. Just fill this form. What are you interested? You will ask you a bunch of questions. Answer that uh, to click the language you have used before skills to show off. If I have, I have a JavaScript skill, TypeScript, like this, choose your particular skills like this. And once you finish this form, you will ask it to generate a readme. So it will generate a readme. So it will create, uh, write you the markdown language itself. Either you can download it or copy the markdown and go back to your readme and paste it and then commit. Then automatically with one just copy paste, you will find your profile being built beautifully in no time. So you can you have also this option to build your readme in a very simple way. So I think this covered up how you can build a beautiful GitHub profile for your work. Okay, now let's just go back to you guys. And if you have any questions, you can raise it. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about a little bit uh, portfolio? Do we need uh, a host so that we can put it there or can we get a free host no uh, um, I, I think you have the option to create a portfolio with ten academy uh, that the career okay. team is important for that one yeah the career mm -hmm. team will help you build a portfolio team okay that's so good. you will use ten academy's portal uh, get a way to deploy your portfolio, but other than that, personally, there are also other options that you can code your, you can use React even and deploy it with Netlify for free, your portfolio, yeah. and also there is a Wix Mix, I, I think, they also give you a free uh, links URLs to deploy your portfolio so just search on the internet there are free options to deploy portfolio for free okay okay thank you okay so any other question okay confirmation that you have understood the presentation and you are ready to go build your own portfolio okay great so uh, i'm going to share the slide if you need it on the drive and okay if you have any don't have any question i guess we can end this session and uh, you can start building your resume github and everything like that aim ten on will join later to show you on medium how you can build your right. So I guess uh, this is it. Thank you for being here. Okay, uh, I'll, I can share it here. Or I will also put it on the drive. Let me just share it.
Okay, 